Hi, I'm Jai, AKA Jai Sizzle Patty. And today we are going to make a Mexican pizza pizza. I am from Casey Mo, and we always go to this fancy taco restaurant. You know the vibes. So we're gonna make this today and hopefully you love it. To start off, we're gonna heat up our pan in the Rockbox oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat this so that we can make our ground beef for our Mexican pizza. So you can just buy this at the store, get about 85% or you can go really lean and get a 93% uh, beef. And you just want it to be minced like the British say. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pull our pan out of the rock box. It is ripping hot. We're gonna add our ground beef to the pan. Ooh, sizzle fatty. Yeah, so you can just incorporate this and we're gonna add some spices. So we have a mixture of cumin and paprika, oregano, and a few other things, some salt. You can also get a seasoning packet at your local store and it's super, super easy to find those. And you're just gonna mix this up as the pan is rolling hot. And then we're actually gonna pop this back in the rock box to finish it off. And it only should take a few minutes. It does not take that long. Um, you want your, your rock box to be around, I'd say 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Just place that in there for a few minutes. So we're gonna pull out our ground beef. We're gonna let this cool for a few minutes and then we're gonna start on the next component of our dish. We're gonna do our refried beans. So refried beans, you can get store-bought. You do not have to take the time to do all the steps for this. It's super, super simple. Just get a can of these at your local supermarket and we're gonna incorporate these with a little bit of water so that they're nice and smooth. Once you have the beans, you can just warm them up in the microwave or you can put them in a saucepan and just add a little water, loosen them up, and then these will be spot on for your pie. And then we're gonna want our enchilada sauce because a Mexican pizza would not be a pizza without this. So enchilada sauce is just a tomato sauce base with some Mexican spices. In your enchilada sauce, you can also get store-bought. See, this recipe is great because you can just go buy a bunch of this shit and then you can incorporate this on your pizza and it's the perfect thing. Or you can take the time, get a little fancy with it and make your own sauce. So with the enchilada sauce, it's gonna be some tomato sauce. You're gonna add some cumin and some other spices like paprika, salt, oregano. Um, you can get a little crazy with some spicy chili powder. You can get some cayenne in there. So I like to put a little cinnamon in mine. Gets a little, little fancier. So let's start forming our pizza. The dough recipe is gonna be located on gosney.com. So super simple to make. I love a good, simple dough recipe. And we're just going to form our pizza and we're gonna work out our base. So this is about a 10 inch pizza. You can make it bigger if you'd like, uh, make your dough balls a little bit bigger. But for this, we're gonna just do a 10 inch pizza, something to snack on. So we're gonna start our base out with our refried beans. I know this sounds really, really weird, but the beans and the enchilada sauce and the cheese, it, it really like melts together and it's super creamy. So it'll, it'll work, it'll work. Just trust me, just trust me. We're gonna add our enchilada sauce and we're just gonna layer that on top of our refried bean mixture. Oh, it's already smelling like a Mexican pizza. Yeah. And then we are going to add our cheese. So the cheese is a combination of Colby Jack cheese. You could also use white cheddar. You could use just kind of any cheese preference that you like. I like to use white cheddar and regular cheddar. And so we're just gonna spread that around our pizza. So we're gonna go ahead and add our ground beef. And you wanna spread this evenly so you get every bite has a little bit of piece of ground beef. All right, that's perfect. And then this is gonna go in the oven. It's gonna go in the rock box and we are going to garnish it with a few other items after it comes out. I know it looks like a brown blob right now, but 
we'll we'll uplift this in a second. So be patient. That looks banging. All right, so I like to cut my pizzas before I garnish it just because then you don't have to worry about any of your toppings looking a little bit funny and we want this to look good. So, you know, if you have friends coming over or, you know, watching a game, your pizza will look beautiful. So let's go ahead and cut our pizza. And we are going to give our pizza a garnish. So we're going to do some fresh chopped tomatoes. You can use Roma tomatoes for this. And we're just going to layer this all over our pie. I always say pie. It's pizza or pie for me. But a lot of people give me a fuss. But you can call it whatever you'd like. We're going to do some green onions. And then we're going to do some cilantro or coriander. Everything has like 20 names, so it's OK. Just accept it. All right, and then we're going to do our garlic oil. So this recipe is super, super simple. You can find this in the box right next to me. I didn't point anywhere, but <laughs> just imagine where I pointed. <laughs> All right, so we got our garlic, garlic oil. We have our tomatoes, green onions, and cilantro. And then we're going to give this a squeeze of lime just to brighten it up. So hit that. You got to cut through that beef, you know, the beef and the beans. It can be really rich and salty. So this lime juice is going to do it wonders. And then we got to brighten it up with a little sour cream. All right, we're going to do a nice drizzle around this pizza. I'm talking like get some Jackson Pollock in you, you know, get your arm out, like get crazy with it. This is how you do it. So Mexican pizza, pizza. For the full recipe, you're going to go to gosney.com. Yeah, look at that. All right. Well, we've finished our Mexican pizza, pizza, and you know, I'm gonna invite my snack buddy up here, Chatham. What's going on, man? Snack. Gonna come snacky snack with me? A little pizza cheers? Cheers. Pizza cheers. Let's try this. Mm. It's awesome. The Rad Dad Club reviews Mexican pizza. Mm. <laughs> Rad Dad number one. Yes, Joy. Rad Dad Club approved. <laughs> Rad. <laughs>